Mankind is a unique species in many ways. One that definitely sets us apart is that we are definitely the only species bold enough to try and create another species in a laboratory, and today we're going to be looking at ten of those animals. With that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Dolly the Sheep Probably one of the better known entries on our list, Dolly gained international attention in 1997 when she was revealed to the world on February 22nd. It was announced that she had been cloned from the cell of an adult sheep, marking the first time that such a feat had been accomplished. Dolly immediately became a media sensation, appearing on Scottish television shows, Time Magazine did a feature on her, and the magazine Science called her the Breakthrough of the Year. Despite being a Washington celebrity status, Dolly lived her days at Roslyn Institute in Midlothian, Scotland. In April of 1998, Dolly had her first baby, a lamb named Bonnie. The following year, she would give birth again, this time to twins named Sally and Rosie. In 2000, she yet again gave birth, and this time to triplets named Lucy, Darcy, and Cotton. Unfortunately though, over in 2001, at the age of four, Dolly developed severe arthritis and began moving stiffly. She was treated with anti-inflammatory drugs, but eventually developed lung disease that progressed into full-blown lung cancer, and in 2003, she was euthanized. Given that Dolly was developed by humans and not conceived by regular means, many people question whether her advanced genetic age around 6 in 1998 may have contributed to her relatively young death. Despite the speculation, those working closely on the project retained that Dolly's health was comparable to other sheep in her flock, and that arthritis and the specific variant of lung disease that she acquired were very common in sheep and unrelated to her genetic makeup. Number 9. Glow-in-the-dark mice Gene therapy has long been the focus of complex research and studies. The challenge for those working in the field is how to introduce modified genes into DNA. These would be for permanent changes or into RNA for temporary changes and get those modified cells to work among naturally occurring ones for a chosen period of time. If this technique could be mastered, then it would allow for unprecedented advancement in the treatment of cancer and the development of new vaccination technology. In order to accomplish this and make studies less invasive for subjects, scientists at Stanford University came up with a bright idea. Simply put, the cells of all living creatures are built out of proteins. In order to figure out how to add modified proteins to RNA, the researchers isolated a glowing jellyfish protein responsible for the species' infamous bioluminescent abilities. Their plan was to add the protein to the RNA of a mouse. And in the early days of 2017, they did in fact succeed. After a complex procedure, the team had created healthy, well-functioning, glow-in-the-dark mice that lived their life expectancy and even reproduced. Number 8. Silk Spinning Goats First there was Spider-Man, then there was Spider-Pig, and then spiders in general, which are creepy. But what about Spider-Goat? That's right, those crazy researchers from the University of Wyoming found a way to edit the DNA of a goat with that of a spider, and you guessed it, created a web-spinning goat. It's pretty cool and all, but why in the world would anyone want a web-spinning goat? As it turns out, there are actually multiple uses for spider silk in medicine, including artificial ligaments, tendons, eye sutures, and jaw repair. What's more, there is also a potential for using spider silk in bulletproof vests and airbags. Unfortunately, as you might imagine, an individual spider would take a very long time to create enough silk for commercial applications. This in turn means that the medical applications that require it are still very expensive and the prospect of expanding its uses is a daunting one. Since the agricultural revolution, the answer to this question has typically been farming. However, experiments in spider farming have proven very difficult, if not unsustainable. But thanks to silk spinning goats, large quantities of silk can be harvested from the goat's milk, meaning that the product can be easily farmed and sold for a fraction of the price as spider silk. Number 7. Allergy-Free Cow In the last couple of decades, we've started hearing a lot more about lactose intolerance and its effects than at any other point in history. But if you're among those who are free to ingest milk to your heart's content, you may not realize that there is such a thing as a milk allergy, and it's much different than lactose intolerance. This is a substance found in all types of milk, including human breast milk. When someone's allergic to milk, their body is allergic to a particular whey protein found primarily in cow's milk. An allergy to milk causes vomiting, hives, and anaphylaxis, which can be fatal. Luckily, many people outgrow the allergy before adulthood. Unfortunately, this means that the majority of those who suffer are infants. Currently, milk manufacturers who want to create a milk-free of whey protein have to add a product that breaks down the protein, but this only makes the milk less allergenic. It doesn't erase the risk altogether, and some highly sensitive infants still can't ingest formula that uses regular milk. 
In an effort to tackle this problem, which is estimated to affect 1 in 12 infants, researchers in New Zealand genetically engineered a cow named Daisy. Daisy is a one-of-a-kind cow whose milk contains none of the whey protein known to trigger allergic reactions. Number 6. Aqua Advantage GMO Salmon Aqua Advantage Salmon is the brand name for genetically engineered Atlantic Salmon developed by Aqua Bounty Technologies in 1989. Atlantic Salmon is a popular delicacy throughout most of the United States and Canada. However, one of the challenges faced by salmon farmers is that the Atlantic Salmon doesn't reach the same size as the much larger Pacific Salmon. To help with this, researchers at Aqua Bounty Technologies replaced the growth hormone in Atlantic Salmon with the growth hormone from a Pacific Salmon. This slight alteration means that Aqua Advantage Salmon grow year-round instead of during spring and summer only. It also means that the genetically modified salmon grows to market size in just 16 months rather than 3 years in the wild or unmodified on farms. Number 5. Super Muscle Pigs A team of scientists in South Korea and China have devised a way to gain the benefits of selective breeders without the years of work that selective breeding takes. The project is being led by molecular biologist Jin Soo Kim at Seoul National University and aims to create what has been dubbed as double muscle pigs. Like most man-made animals, the process for creating these pigs involves editing an individual gene. But one thing that makes the process somewhat unique is that unlike other genetically modified animals, the gene in these super buff pigs isn't being replaced with something from another animal. It's simply being modified. Researchers are hoping that the pigs may be approved for human consumption soon. As of 2020, the only genetically engineered animals approved for human consumption are Aqua Bounty's Aqua Advantage Atlantic Salmon. Number 4. Tiny Pet Micro Pigs From one extreme to the other, you may have seen these adorable micro pigs making the rounds on social media over the past few years. Well, as it turns out, these are another example of man-made animals. In 2015, BGI showcased its micro pigs at a summit in Shenzhen, China. So far, most of the genetic engineering we've seen is pretty easy to understand the motivation for. Bioluminescent jellyfish genes could mean a brighter future for cancer research. Genetically engineered Atlantic salmon decreases maturing times and double muscle pigs increase yields. But at first glance, it's hard to see the motivation behind creating a tiny pig. Well, besides that it's adorable. And in fact, that's actually exactly why it was created. Like many small dog breeds, these micro pigs were created as a man-made designer pet. In the future, buyers may even be able to customize the coat color and pattern. Still, not everyone is enamored with these tiny micro pigs, and the practice has been called, quote, stretching physiological limits for the sole purpose of satisfying idiosyncratic aesthetic preferences of humans. And at the expense of sounding arrogant, that was said by Daniel Voites, a geneticist from the University of Minnesota who has been a very vocal opposition of the micro pigs and likes to use very large words. They then go on to say that such a move could trivialize and jeopardize the future of gene modification in medical and agricultural fields. I mean, I understand all of those words, but you can just use smaller words, you know. You don't need to say it to sound all pompous. Number 3. Pig Organ Donors Man, This is a lot of stuff on pigs here, actually. Our third and final pig base entry may save your life one day. Xenotransplantation is the act of interspecies organ transplanting, and pretty soon it may be more commonplace than ever before. Well, sort of. It's probably no secret to anyone watching this that organ donors are often in short supply and transplant lists run so long that black market systems have cropped up to provide risky underground transplant services. For perspective, consider this. Each year in the United States, 7,300 people die while waiting on transplant lists. The most common organ needed are kidneys. This urgency has led to many ill-fated attempts at xenotransplantation, most notable in 1984 when a young girl named Baby Faye was given a baboon heart, but died just 20 days later when her body rejected the organ. Since the days of Baby Faye, researchers have focused most of their efforts on pig-to-human transplants. However, there are still complications. This has led to a team in Germany to begin modifying pigs to have more human-like organs. Currently, there are pigs being engineered with as many as four genetic alterations so that they are living with highly humanoid organs inside of them. The hope is that one day these type of pigs can be cultivated en masse to serve the growing need for donor organs. Now it's time for the day's best pig. Number 2. Alligator skin is one of the most revered hides in fashion, and researchers at the Institute of Genetic Discovery in Dallas, Texas have combined genetics from three savage predators to create a more efficient means of cultivating alligator hide. By crossing alligator genes with those of a rhino and hippopotamus, they have created a large mammal that produces a hide very similar to natural alligator skin. Researchers hope to see the creature, affectionately dubbed an elitopotamus, farmed commercially within the decade. 
I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Low Flatulence Cow Researchers at the University of Alberta in Canada are working on a genetics-based solution for a rather strange problem. While human industry is still the leading contributor to greenhouse gases, a shockingly high contribution comes from the digestive tract of cows. As more and more people inhabit the earth, the demand on food production rises. This means more and more cows kept for sale as food. In fact, it's estimated that there are nearly a billion cows in the world as of 2019, but it's thought that cows contribute to nearly 9% of greenhouse gas emissions. For instance, a single cow can emit 70 to 120 kilograms of methane per year. This methane is produced through flatulence and belching, something that the unique digestive system of cattle does a lot of. However, the Canadian research team tackling this issue has chosen to alter genetic components that cause high levels of methane to be released. They have succeeded in creating several cows who produce lower levels of methane during digestion. These genetically altered man-made cows could very well be the future of environmental conservation. What was your favorite entry on today's list? Do you think science has gone too far? Let us know in the comments down below. And everybody, that's our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.